What a Beautiful Name Story by Brooke and Scott Ligerwood and Ben and Carolee Fielding On a regular Monday in Oliver's room, in through the door came a familiar tune. His mother was singing a sweet melody. About who, though, he wondered, what name could it be? He couldn't recall, but he knew that he knew. There must be an answer. There must be a clue. This calls for an adventure. He grabbed his friend Leo, his backpack and cap, some snacks and some water, his tent and his map. With imagination and teamwork, they planned for their trip. Step one, build a bright yellow rocket ship. Five, four, three, two, one, then blast off. Up, 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 up. They flew over mountains, majestic and tall. And as they went higher, they watched Earth grow small. They counted the stars, or at least they tried. And Oliver wondered, who hung them here, so way up high? Then floating along in the great open skies, with beauty now filling his heart through his eyes, the words to the song drifted into his brain. Oh, this really must be a beautiful name. Vroom. They set up their tent and studied their map and told funny stories and shared all their snacks. They danced and they sang late into the night, excited to set out again at first light. Grateful for friendship and good company, they continued their quest, this time on the sea. The name that they searched for felt closer and nearer and Oliver's longing to know it grew clearer. With wide eyes he looked all around and exclaimed, This really must be a wonderful name. Then the ocean grew darker and wilder and wider. The waves rose like giants, higher and higher. But his heart felt held on tight to the words that were true. The name is not just beautiful and wonderful, but powerful too. Crossing the ocean, they landed on shore, where wild things grow and the animals roar. There in the shade of a palm they would rest, recounting the clues they had found on their quest. And lying there thinking how far they had come, Oliver's mind wandered home where their search had begun. Then remem remembering a moment in church, Oliver jumped up all excited. I know where to search. One Sunday we kids were singing the song. What if the name's in a book we've known all along? So out of the jungle and over the seas, Leo and Oliver raced at full speed. Then over the mountains to Oliver's door, they dashed for the books that covered the floor. It's this one, cried Oliver, holding the book, and opening his Bible, he knew where to look. Creator and Saviour who made everything. Beautiful, wonderful, powerful King. He'd known all of this before blasting off, before setting sail, before jungles and rocks, in boats and in rockets and tents out in space. The name had been with them in every place. And the most beautiful, wonderful, powerful part, it was the name of the person alive in his heart. Their adventure had paused, cause adventures don't end and Oliver, yawning, snuggled his friend. Dozing to dreamland, he heard that same song about the name of all names that he'd known all along.
Jesus.